Hi guys, welcome back. And in this video, I would like to discuss the risk reward uh, ratio topic. I will share uh, my point of view on <coughs> the RRR and also show you one very simple trick for your uh, expert advisors that you can use in order to have a maximum control over your RRR when you are optimizing or testing or even using your expert advisor. So the first thing <coughs> that I will do is that I will go to my MT5 editor where I will create a new expert advisor uh, on which I will demonstrate my approach to risk reward ratio. So yeah, it's gonna be very, very fast. Uh, risk reward ratio, EA. And yeah, so I don't have any expert advisor. So the first thing I have to do <coughs> is that I have to uh, think of very simple expert advisor because uh, focus of this video is not on the development but on the RRR. Okay, so let's do a simple RSI. So just one second, so RSI period. I will just go to expert rate. Uh, expert advisor real quick so just one second <coughs> so go period, uh, assign period price close so yeah I know this is not that entertaining but for example for someone who doesn't know uh, that much about expert advisors and how they are developed uh, even this might be interesting so RSI array and I will keep this very very uh, very simple so now you have to include right page so this is it is perfect now ask symbol info double for current symbol and symbol ask now bit price info double symbol bit okay so if position so if we don't have any position we want to check but before that copy buffer here a um, rsi <coughs> handle 0, 0, 002 RSI array so if RSI array 0 is below 30 and RSI array 1 is like this you want to buy position and else if RSI array 0 is above 70 and RSI array 1 is below 70 you want to sell, so let's do exactly that. Sell zero one uh, now bit and now yeah. So uh, just uh, for the initial initial EA, I will yeah type something like five hundred points of stop loss, and here can be one hundred points to take profit. Just for this initial. Uh, initial code ask, ask, ask. point so and we are Done. So just for your information, this is how fast you can create a fully working RSI expert advisor. Yeah, but that's not the focus of this video. So right now I will go back to my tester and yeah, so let's check the expert advisor just to make sure that everything works. So I'll go to my YouTube and RRREA. So yeah, I was just testing some of my EAs here, but that's not important. So Euro USD, 15 minute time frame, <coughs> and yeah, let's test it out. Okay, so opening uh, buy when uh, the RSI goes goes above this 30 level, then uh, yeah, 
and for a cell if it goes below this 70 level right here okay now it's okay so this is it this is the expert advisor now let's discuss the rrr <clears throat> so what is the risk reward uh, ratio it's basically the ratio, uh, the ratio between your take profit and stop loss points so if i have something like uh, the risk reward ratio of 1 to 10 that means that i am risking uh, 1 to gain 10 okay okay this was a very very bad <laughs> very bad <laughs> very bad ex explanation let's try a different e explanation here you can see that the stop loss points are fine five times uh, bigger than the take profit points that means that the risk uh, the risk reward ratio is 5 to 1 or 1 to 5 depends if you like put first the risk or the reward yeah but that is uh, basically what the RRR is so uh, in general when you are optimizing your expert advisors what you are or uh, what I've been also doing is that I just uh, declare new input integer called take profit points i set it here and make let's call it double and then i do the same thing for stop loss points and let's make it for example 500 so so we keep the initial state here then i just go here and uh, uh, i just replace these values by the take profit points and these values by the stop loss points okay and now if i compile this uh, we all know what will happen that is that i can change the uh, the take profit and stop loss values from here so yeah and this is for the optimization part so then when i'm optimizing my expert advisor in order to get the best settings then i can select these and op and optimize them now uh, what i just want to show you is that uh, how changing the, the risk reward uh, ratio hugely impacts our expert advisor uh, result now i'm not talking like if you said if you uh, set the rrr something to like 100 points and 50 points uh, 500 points which is still okay one to five that's like the maximum i would go for <clears throat> but i want to showcase what happens if you say say something like 2000 here and here something like 10 okay so if i run these settings what will happen and you can see what happened you can see that a lot of time so this curve is perfect okay so like if I've showed you the EA with the performance that starts here and goes right here, okay? So you don't see this stuff, this mess uh, here. Then <clears throat> what I can tell you, I can tell you that this EA does not use grid, does not use martingale or doesn't use exp uh, machine learning and stuff like this. So this is completely honest EA but the part that i will leave out is that yeah one one uh, <laughs> one loss is equal to 200 wins okay so uh, this is the part that i leave out <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because if i show you this graph it looks perfect so yeah and i know that i have used like uh, this into an extreme so yeah this is not like something you will see very often but uh, just to prove my point this is how you can tamper with the risk reward ratio let's see what happens if i set it to 100 so now it's like uh, 1 to 20 so one loss is equal to 20 winning positions so if i start here you can see that this also looks nice yeah like <clears throat> once again if i would leave 
this mess here and I will just focus on this part then I can tell you this is uh, this is perfectly profitable expert advisor as you can see and yeah so that's that's what I can do so now that I hope that we cleared out uh, why we have to keep the RRR under control and that's exactly for us to not receiving uh, uh, some some results like this so so that's why we have to focus on this issue even when you are like an honest honest expert advisors developer when you are not uh, focusing on this issue you will also also receive some results that might be skewed and yeah so you have to be aware of this also uh, next thing that is not ideal is that when you are optimizing so for example uh, if i don't want to so yeah when you are optimizing and you are optimizing with take profit and stop loss points like this you will optimize or test out a lot of combinations that are completely useless for you because even if like this combination would come out as the most profitable one you would uh, disregard it because yeah you know about this issue and that's also taking a lot of time when you are optimizing so let's move on uh, to that one tip that you can use in your EAs to make sure that you can choose the maximum uh, maximum uh, risk reward uh, ratio and yeah so what you can do instead and this is extremely simple is that you create a new variable called risk reward uh, ratio of type double so you can put their decimal places as well and you uh, you can choose whatever value you want for example one okay <clears throat> and then you have to delete one of these uh, inputs okay that's that uh, really depends on you you can delete both of them but uh, uh, or either one of them but I would recommend to uh, delete the stop loss points because for me it will be easier to calculate this based on the take profit points. So and then what you do is that you do something like this. So instead of using take profit points, okay, I've I've had an error here. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, that doesn't matter. Let's continue. This doesn't matter. So, yeah, I will just ask. Price is by bit price. Like, okay, now you can say that uh, the test wasn't valid because I messed up. But yeah, I don't have time to. Uh, uh, redo the experiment if you still don't believe me please do this for yourself and you will see that this actually is true yeah but uh, let's move on so yeah so now what i will do is that instead of using stop loss points is that i will use the take profit points times the rrr so now like i am keeping the ratio okay so for example if i set my take profit points to uh, 100 and i set set this rrr variable to something like 10 then my uh, stop loss points is 1000 because it's take profit so 100 times 10 is 1000 so yeah this is a very simple trick of how you can uh, make sure that you keep your uh, risk reward ratio uh, yeah in in the in the boundaries or within the boundaries you want it to be so now what i can do is that i can go and optimize this expert advisor so now i'm going to just focus on the 
on these two. So let's say that I want to go from 100 points, step by 50, and let's go to 500 points or step by 100 because yeah, I don't need good results uh, in this case. So this will do for me. And then for the RRR, yeah, so let's start at one. So we will be testing like, uh, yeah, from one, which means that the take profit points is also stop loss points. Then we will increase by 0 0.5 and let's go to maximum of five. Okay, so the maximum value we want uh, our stop loss to be is five times the take profit points. Okay, which is still okay in my opinion. So yeah, that's that's something that I can use. So now I click start and let's see what happens. So here are our our uh, our results, and what you can see right here is that the best result was achieved with RRR of five. So this is the maximum value that we allowed to be. So this kind of proves my previous point, And that is that if you set your RRR higher, then it will enhance the performance of your expert advisor. And I think this, this is a good, good proof of it. So now if I run this single test, you can see that it looks something like this, but this is not important. What is important is that we go here to the back test and check the average profit rate and average loss rate. So based on this, our average profit that, uh, or average loss rate should be five times the average profit rate, which if we round this to the three, then uh, this this is exactly what we what we wanted okay so yeah so now you can see that this works so for example if i choose this setting where i am using take profit of 200 and rrr of four then the uh, the average uh, losing uh, position should be of 800 and eight okay so yeah so this is it this is the very simple trick that you can use and in my opinion it's very useful. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in uh, the next video. See you.